So ASCO 2019 uh, gave us, I think, a look at a subset of patients with pancreatic cancer, namely the germline mutated BRCA1 and 2 patients. And for the first time, we've looked at patients in the metastatic setting with maintenance olaparib treatment. So a biomarker-led uh, uh, treatment for patients in the metastatic setting of pancreatic cancer and olaparib uh, proved to provide overall survival benefit. I think this is practice changing. I think we need to test all our metastatic pancreatic cancer patients for the germline mutation. And now we've got uh, a treatment option for them uh, that was successful. Um, I think we need to continue to look at gem nab paclitaxel in the adjuvant setting, patients who undergo the WIPO procedure. Uh, the study was not positive, but there was possibly a trend towards it. In gastric and GE junction metastatic setting, I think it was really important to see that first line pembrolizumab was non-inferior to chemotherapy. Our patients are sick, they do better with immunotherapy, and we can offer them now in the metastatic setting first line uh, immunotherapy alone. I think that's practice changing as well. And then in the biliary tract cancers, we were able to treat now in the second line with Folfox after GEMSYS. Patients did better, patients did all right, alongside best supportive care. So overall, the takeaway is that GI cancers, we continue to provide options for our patients. Um, the outcomes look good, and we're able to offer next lines of treatments in patients who are extremely sick and before were unable to receive second or much less third line settings.